the time that waiting for my notes, so I can introduce myself a little bit. I know that I supposed to have my note here, but I notice it's not here. So every time when we have new priest in the in the parish, we always curious, who is he? What his name? What language he speak? And is he going to give a long homily today? Actually, not really. So, you know, my name is Father Lee. Originally, I was born in Thailand. So, if you were to learn some Thai, you have to learn how to pronounce my name or remember my name first. My real Thai name is Raphael Virasak Shompujan Lee. So if you can remember my name, that means you can speak Thai. So, but you just call me Father Lee, that's the easy one. So, I entered seminary when I was 16, very young. Really, like Father Ben is young, so I'm old now. So, but I came to the United States in 2002. By the time I was a student, I'm not that young, actually. So, I entered St. Patrick's Seminary for a few years and then I was ordained, it's God's will. And then in 2006, I was ordained by Bishop Vigneron and I became the first high priest who was ordained in the United States. So you don't see many Thai priests around in the United States. So that's why I hope that as the first high priest for Oakland and also in the United States, I hope uh, the Holy Spirit will treat me well because I'm the first one. Doesn't mean I'm, I'm proud of myself that I'm the first one that all, they call the pioneer, but the most important is English. I know English is not easy for those foreigners like me. When they first came here, I was thinking about how can I deliver my homily in English especially to share the good news with all of you. I remember that my first assignment, after Mass, a lady approached me and asked me, Father, what does it mean you say that you are a high priest from Thailand? I just realized that I didn't say I'm a high priest. I said that I am a Thai priest from Thailand. <laughs> so that's why, you know, English is not easy for all of us. Sometimes our pronunciation or our accent is not easy for you to understand. That's why today I try to deliver my homily clearly, slowly, want to make sure that you understand the message today. Today's reading are all about family. Pope Francis in his visit recently gave us a wonderful example of how we Christian should relate and respond to everyone around us. Pope Francis reminded us of the vital importance of the family life for every one of us. And by his own responses to each, from the youngest to the eldest, showed us how to relate to everyone. Our reading in today's Mass are exactly the reason that brought Prof. Francis to the United States of America. In the book of Genesis, we have the wonderful story of the fundamental need we all have for loving relationships. Nothing makes us more truly ourselves Nothing on this earth brings us to greater satisfaction than love for one another. Adam had a whole world to himself, yet he never felt complete until he encountered one like himself. If bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh, we all need to reflect long and wisely on this story. 
we all need to be thankful for our parents who so often in this most difficult of circumstances brought us into the world. Parents are not perfect, but come to think of it, neither are you and I. We must continue to encourage young people to commit to marriage and bear children. Because in the end, there is no greater joy and reward in life. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and cling to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The Apostle Paul, in his word to us today, deepened the union of husband and wife. Paul teaches us that when Christ, the Son of God, when he became man in the womb of Mary, made us all his brothers and sisters, and drew us into not only the family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, but also the family of God. This is a great help to us when time and relationship become strained. If we remember and call to mind who we are and to whom we are married. As Paul tells us, he who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. But it is always Jesus walking with us who deals with the everyday problems in our daily lives. In the Gospel today, the Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing Jesus. In their hearts, they knew the correct answer. Jesus tests them in return by going back to the great lawgiver of Moses. It turns out that Moses, under great pressure, had permitted divorce. But Jesus teaches them that when you consider what we have already learned from our first two readings today, bone of my bone, one flesh, brothers and sisters of Christ. It is impossible to legitimize divorce. Jesus, the kind and merciful for our sakes, cannot and will not break with the truth. But does Jesus pursue with threat those who violate? My dear sisters and brothers, Jesus is here with us in this Eucharist. Let us, in our celebration today, be grateful for having a family in union with the family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> 